The Thompson House. Nice. Well, I've been having a lot of fun with this build overall. Uh, retribution and plaything combination is just a lot of fun. But on top of that, the one thing I've been really enjoying is trying to see how fast I can really get Nemesis power to tier 3. And we're actually going to start this game off really quick. Would you, would you just like salute me? Oh, wow. Thank you. Quickly break that. You gotta love when they drop Hal right away. He's still here, but I don't really want to chase after him right now. Thank you. Alright, tier 2 right away. That is Marvin's blood and, of course, the T-Virus. So, pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna hit tier 3 extremely quick here. Especially if I can down her right here. If I can down her with the power, go over there, hit that zombie. We might be, like, one extra whip away from tier 3. Ooh. I got a little too used to the tier 3 range there. I put so much time on a nemesis, you sometimes get used to that range. Interesting. Kai is holding W, so I'm gonna get a little closer. Uh, whoa. That was that was weird. Alright. There we go. We at least get the first hookup right away, which is really nice. I guess I should tag that zombie over there while I was there. I really don't care about them at Shack. Shack's not really a fun place to uh, play around. I do have Nemesis power almost at tier 3, so once I get tier 3, it really shouldn't be bad at all. We'll lose two gens probably right off the bat, but that's alright. The real power of this build is going to be when we hit tier 3 and when we uh, kind of lower the gens and, you know, the gens in general. Where we got everybody? Losing Retribution right off the bat, but that's alright. We still have plaything to rely on here later on. Good. Hi, what's up? Give her a nice little punch. Let her know what's going on. You think she's gonna drop the pallet? Does she play around it even? Yeah, she plays around it, so that's good. There we go. And tier 3. Not bad. That's a fast tier 3. Does she have life? I said that'd be really unfortunate if she did. There we go. This is where it gets really scary. That extra meter really helps. I don't really gotta worry about hitting zombies anymore. And now we start to power spike up. And we got play thing going on. Which is gonna be great as well with... Uh, Barbecue. Oh, they're both up top. They're really trying to hammer it out. But we have pop. So once we get up there, we'll get a lot of value. One survivor up there is already infected. We're going to go this way. I just want to break this because I know we're going to be up here more than once. There we go. I know the other survivor's here, but that gen hasn't done that much. I'll need to get rid of a player pretty quickly, though, because it is a larger map, and they are really on the gens. They're actually ignoring people on the hooks to go for gens, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Let's just quickly get everyone infected. All right. Zombie? Damn. That person's going to go stage two, huh? If they go stage two and they're up there on the gen still... No way, right? Yeah, they don't care. They do not care, man. So, in that case, I'll push them off of this. I guess I should have kicked it. I really didn't think they would uh, completely ignore their teammates for the gens. That's definitely one way of saying uh, Jane, uh, Jane, Jen efficient. Holy hell. Are they going to let her die on the first hook, too? That'd be crazy. Nope. Let's go ahead and get some real good value here real quick. We're going to tag him, we're going to hook her, we're going to pop that gen. They're going to heal up, most likely under hook. And then we'll we'll look from there. I was not ready for these survivors to actually be super gen efficient. It's very rare you see survivors actually focus solely on gen speed where they do not go for saves. Yeah, I think it's best to go ahead and let them heal. I'm not going to stop the heal anyways, but I do need to pop this gen and get it regressing. I can't completely ignore uh, gens right now. All right. Get my leg workout in. 
And let's take a look. One's already running for the save over there. All right. We got a lot of play thing out right now, so we should be able to get pretty close to some of these survivors. How about I want to push them? I guess I did that wrong. I should have walked the other way. Because they're both going to go drop down this way, right? Yeah. Problem is, is I think he had balance. Because he had distance. He got a lot of... Oh! Andy horribly messed up. Play thing, hopefully, will keep them active. At least for a few seconds while I hook him up. And maybe we can get some good value. We might be able to pop that gen up top again. Oh, no. They're going to finish that gen. She's saying straight to it. If she taps that gen, we can force uh, Punisher by hitting her down and hooking her up again. I might be able to get there in time. It's going to be close. Two survivors there makes it hard. All right. Good. We can pop that. Oof, it's so close. I'm going to get a lot of good pop value this round. Where do I want to put her? Do we go maybe basement? Or is that risky? No, it's right here. We're good. Sometimes putting basement here isn't always the best call. Because you can't come back here and you typically have to go a little out of your way. But I don't think we're too bad here. No one's over there. No one seems to be over there. I'm going to come back up top real quick. I think she went right back and hopped on that gen again. They're going for the save now. No. Okay, good. We'll go downstairs then because they're going for the save immediately. Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do an M1. I wanted to think about that for a second anyways, but... He doesn't really have a lot of places to run over here because he already broke this pallet. So this should be a pretty quick chase. I'm going to veer off a little bit this way because he has to go forward. Good. I was worried. I was worried that maybe, like, he just have, like, dead hard either way there. I know he, I saw him use balance, but you never know, man. Just never know. Awesome. Two survivors over there. I don't see one up on that gen right now, so I'm gonna come over here and try and keep up the pressure. Interesting. How how do I want to do this? Yeah, let's do that. We'll pop this while I'm here. Just massive pop value this game. And then we'll kind of follow this over. I want to see where she's going. She does have the infection, so I can definitely play around that. But I don't want to go to Shack unless, you know, I might be able to end it quick. We have a zombie right here. There is no pallet. Yep, there we go. Oof. I didn't see one over at that gen. Which hook is this for her? It might be her last hook, but I'm not positive. There we go. They're both over there. One person's going to work on the gen upstairs, which if they're tapping, I'm going to go right back up there and we're going to pop it again. Try and bring that back to uh, zero all the way. No, they tapped it. I think someone just fell down. No, he's right here. Okay. There we go. I don't lose as much speed right now as far as for doing that. So we should be good to always fake uh, the whip if I need to. He's just going to hold W here. He's going to try and get back over to that pallet. It's going to be a maybe. They're not really having a lot of pressure on that gen currently. So it's going to be a yikes. Nice. He should have never greeted that. Playing very risky with pallets. Alright, second player out of the game. And we know they were right here a second ago. One survivor over there. This has some progress, but not a ton. She's going to take me over there. Even better. Wow. 
Alright. That doesn't have, like, any... I'm gonna come back over here and pop this shut in a second. Actually, I think we're just gonna go for the possible close out here in a second. You know, if she would've done that right, she could've actually gotten a lot more distance there. There's... Here it is. I was like, I saw a crow's fly. There we go. We're already moving to... Yeah. Oh, I was hoping she'd go uh, forward where the, there was no progress over there. I mean, there were no pallets over there. She does not get far from here on out. So, we gotta go ahead and take this 4K here soon. Awesome. You'd love to see it. Woo. That was a uh, that was a bit of a spicy game. They got them early gens down just so quick. Again, it's really rare to see survivors let you know each other go on stage two like that. All right, Yamako Estate. I've been coming here a lot lately. I feel like I'm only playing a few different maps as of late, but hey, that's all right. Let's see what we got. We start kind of in the middle, not a good spawning area. You always want to start more or less on one side. That way you can kind of get an idea of where the other survivors are as they don't spawn within a certain vicinity with you. But when you spawn more in the middle, some tend to spawn behind you. We have zombies spawning now, so that might help. Okay, zombies going back that way. I'll move over this way instead then. Now the goal is to get tier 3 as quick as possible, but we gotta find that survivor right away if I can. Nothing here. No one's working inside there. So there, or they did spawn back on... The gen over there. Nope, right here. Here we go. This is only, what, one or two? Interesting. Yeah, okay. So there are two or three survivors over there. That was pretty quick. We'll definitely move this way. And perfect. Tier two. At least this way, if she drops any pallets, now I can start removing them from the map. Oh, we lost retribution. Feels bad. The real goal is to get played thing up and running first, but hey, it happens. It's not a big deal. I want to end this chase and hit that zombie afterwards, but I don't know if I'll be able to just yet. That gun's not going any more than it was. Nice. Not a horrible chase. Make a clean up one or two things, but overall pretty good. We'll get some good barbecue value here, and... Alright. Decent idea. One zombie's going around to chase that survivor off. One survivor's already running off this way. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and pop this while I'm here. I'm gonna actually come up here and reset this zombie real quick as well. Because she's got so much distance, I'm not gonna chase that over there. Well, wait. Hold up. This is actually a decent area. Hi. Ooh, I tried moving it. Damn. I tried to do a flick correction there. I just did not get it. Did that time, though. Don't think she can actually out loot me here. We should be good. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and, yeah, I have one zombie over there. He's going to that gem, which will push them off. And then there might be two survivors there. Yes, there is. Good. That zombie should be really annoying. And it's going to be. Exactly what we want. All right, thank you. Tier three. Good pop value. Anything just to kind of slow them down just a little bit. They're going for the save right now, it seems. How many? Alright. We'll punch him. Uh, I don't know if he had the med kit or a toolbox, but we'll go for her. I don't see her having a med kit, which means we can get some good pressure here as well. Even if we have to leave the chase, we get good pressure here. Which is what's really nice about it. Hi. Alright. If, if they get sporadic, just go ahead and go for the M1. Oh, my lag. There we go. That was crazy. Push her back that way, and do I want to chase this? She has a med kit, so I can't just give up the chase. 
And I have a vault coming up. Can I maybe play at this vault? I could have went for it, but I don't think it was worth it. That was, though. Try to keep everyone infected as well. If they don't get take care of the infection, we're going to get a lot of value off of our powers. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we're going to definitely move over here. This has some good progress, too. So, oh, there goes the uh, infection for him. Oh, she's also injured. Good. I'm going to pop that. I'm going to run through here and try and cut her off. Hi. Surprise. Oh, she's going to go out the back. Yep. We got a really good start so far. Just so much pop value these past two games. Like, holy hell. But that's because our chase time is actually being pretty decent with these games. Love to see it. Alright, so that gen, it might get popped, but the zombie might interrupt it. Oh, the zombie did. Sweet. Actually got a health state for me. I'd love to see it. Oh, that feels so bad. At least for him. Great for us. But where did he run off to? Over there. Are both these regressing? Yeah, both these are regressing. Oh, they're all just going ahead and getting cleansed up. That's fine. They have a survivor who's on the hook. They have to go for that person. And I bet it's going to be the person right here. No. I figured they'd kind of come up that way. Here we go. How do I want to do this? I think we're just going to look for a normal M1. And then we will go from there. Yep. Because she'll swap. I'm kind of just waiting for borrow time. At least leave her slugged and create pressure that way. Okay. If I leave her slugged, he'll come here and pick her up, I think. So I can get back over here and hook this uh, Jane up. Where'd she cl crawl away to? Hopefully it's not power struggle. No, she won't crawl that way. We hook up, we go to where Ace was, and then we kick that Jen. Oh, fair enough. They actually decided just to go ahead and pop the gen instead. I thought maybe I could entice him to do that. I guess I should have chased him away too. I should have went for a lot more pressure there. That's all right. See the blood? And he's on the run. That hard? Nope. Nice try though. He honestly should have just went for the uh, vault. I would have to whip him and he'd get movement speed there. Alright, two survivors are over here. Well, three, I should say. Because someone saved before the survivor who was running got there. So they'll probably try and heal up really quick. They'll get one survivor healed, but they won't be able to get the second. And yeah, she was healing, so... She's going back on the hook. There's only two uh, gens left. Can't not be nice. There you go. She should have taken the first seal. Alright. On the hook you go. Good. We got him kind of constantly moving right now. I was hoping maybe I would catch her over here. I do see blood. Okay. So she just ran back through over here. Yeah, that was risky. Zombie? No. Well, that was interesting. Let me uh, try that one more time. There we go. Alright. Uh, they can definitely come over here and get her off the hook. But they have to kind of go right through me to do so. I didn't see one go that way around. So, they might lose two survivors right here. Yeah, they're definitely gonna have to move if they want to get there. Let's see where they're at. Both survivors over there working on Jen. Crazy. 
the teams today have been putting in some gen progress. Like, they've been working on them. Busting them out. But, man, we've been just killing it with Bob. Hey, can you uh, get off the gen, please? Thank you. Don't do it, buddy. It's not worth it. I'm going to pop it. I'm just not going to take the risk at this point. Just because I don't want for the, the sheer potential. Oh, here's Hatch, too. The sheer potential that they actually managed to uh, pop two gens. We can at least draw out another 15, 20 seconds by popping it. Get me into the chase. Thank you. They have one vault. He's going to run right for it. No, he decided not to. He goes for it now. He just went around. Hey, buddy. Uh, I don't think he's down hook. So, we can definitely get back. Yeah. So, she went back there and finished it. But, hey, that pop bust a lot of times. She wasn't working on another gen to end the game. We can definitely hook up and get back over there to the hatch. Because he's not dead on hook. She hopped in a locker or made her way over here. Oh, wait. Here she is. How does she run this? Perfect. She's not going over there. So she's not going to go for the save. You're going to have to loot me for a long time in order to... Yeah. That one's not happening today. And there we go. Another Merciless and another 4K. You love to see it. All right. And with the GGs. Yeah, we just got so much pop value. It wasn't even... I mean, it was awesome. Um, let's go over build just for today. I've already done a video on this, so make sure to check it out. But we're running Hex Retribution, Hex Plaything, Barbecue and Chili, and Pop Goes Weasel. We didn't get a ton of value today off of Retribution. But remember, Retribution, if it does stay up when you start getting Plaything going... Every time someone pops a plaything, you'll get 10 seconds of seeing all survivors aura. So it has some really good potential there. It was a lot of fun. For a very quick mutation rate, we ran with Marvin's Blood and the T-Virus Sample. Uh, this gives us just pretty much whenever we hit anything with the whip, we're going up immense amount of mutation rating, which helps out a lot. You're going to get that mutation rate perfect. You're going to get tier 3 really quickly. Uh, but that's it for today's build. I hope you all enjoy it. Much love. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off.